super duper exciting edition of Inside Media Weekly, the best edition you're going to see all week, I think. I'm Ryan Bonai. Joining me today on the pa- panel, our illustrious panel, what? Episode, oh, I'm sorry. Episode number 137. Episode 137. Is there something significant no, around that? Nothing. Okay. Bassos wanted nothing. to know. Kevin Bassos is here, um, dressed up a little bit. My wife loves this. Ready to work. She loves it. You got the, the bam and the pow. Biff and Biff. kabooms. 60s day. Uh-huh. 70s. 60s and 70s. 50s deserve its own. 60s and 70s. <laughs> Cram it we all got to get together. through the week. <laughs> Fast. Justin Pinto is here as well. Yes. Like going with the 2000s. The or, yes. 2000s something. decade. There was a we don't have that. I, I know that, but think, the knots. Like, think back to that. The knots. The knots, right? Is that what they call it? We're all wear purple shirts and complain. <laughs> what was the show on? What was the show? Was it I Love the 90s? Is that on VH1? Was that that show on VH1? Oh, I yeah. I Love the 90s, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was like... It was like 2006, and we were going back to the mm-hmm. 90s. Like it was like so long ago. Yeah, it was. I love the 80s, <laughs> and then they did. I love the 90s, and then I love the 70s, and then they quit. No, they came back and did more. I okay. love the 80s, yeah, well, okay, part two more. or whatever it was. Never Wait, went back what about I love the knots? When was that coming? I don't think it's coming. Eh, not yet. Not not a lot to love. So, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Come on, come on. So the last 18 years. So you tell me, in 40 or 50 years, we're not going to be playing music. They're going to have oldies nights of. But they'll have all these. I can remember the thinking, 2010s, they'll never the have all these nights well. of this music. It's going to be. Cr-. And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> the oldest stuff they play now. Dang. Speaking of, uh, the sea, <laughs> the sea otters have nothing going on. The good news is the camera seems to be adjusted. A few minutes ago, the camera was very blue, and mm-hmm. it's maybe the sun is coming up. I like the what, chemical uh, pollution. I guess it's eight o'clock Monterey out there Bay Aquarium. in Monterey eight. Bay. Um, the sea otters must be sleeping, mm-hmm. or or dead. Reacting to uh, pollution. Yeah, I'm not sure. Or smoothies. I really don't know if these are toys. It looks like a little seaweed or something floating around in the... It looks like the camera's off to the side like they're doing something. Yep. Mm-hmm. Perhaps some maintenance. something bad Something's is happening. happening. <laughs> we shouldn't Maybe it's assume. something extraordinarily good. It could be. Maybe they're uh, renovating and giving them a better habitat. Right. Because if I've learned anything, <laughs> if something can go right, it always does. <laughs> <laughs> Never. It's always the positive, ah, yes. right things that happen. I feel like. Well, and uh, <laughs> the sea otters inside are sarcasm weekly. They had to meet the sea otters. Where was it? Uh, the... Oh, here. <laughs> Here's a picture of Jim the sea otter. <laughs> Looks a lot like uh, all the other sea otters. This is meet. The... I don't meet the sea otter. So anyway. This... <laughs> Uh, 137 bio. episodes. A little bio of each one. Significant because it's well, really we, didn't we, terrible. Uh, didn't we meet them one time before? <laughs> I have We never were met looking them. at the. I just no. spelled it wrong though. They're they're here. There's Abby. Oh. There's Gidgets. <laughs> and there's Ivy uh-huh. and Kit and Rosa and Selka. I think somebody just verbally said "aw" in the camera. <laughs> Um, Everyone's the star of the show, Selka. The star is Selka and Rosa. Rosa's got a cute picture, though. That's our nice. oldest otter. Um, it's just like the groundhogs at the Punxsutawney Museum. Mm-hmm. And it's like, here's all the groundhogs. They all look the same. <laughs> it is all Phil. There's never been another one other than we're like Phil. On Phil 17, years we? in. We're up to, yeah. We're on Phil. Like, Morris the Cat on Nine Lives commercials? No. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Yes, you're a little too young. Yeah. You had like six of those. 12 of those. Yeah, hey. So the lesson here is if you're going to make a show or a commercial or an aquarium with uh, Name. <laughs> animals and give them names, yeah, there's a good chance like they may Shamu not. It's like Shamu at SeaWorld. There's like seven of them. Yeah. Well, there used to be. Don't they get rid of Aren't they all gone now? Uh, they no, they down? keep naming them. I thought they closed. I thought they released them all. No, well, they, they still, still have them. There's still, what, two SeaWorlds left or one? Uh, three, I think. in Texas or something? Orlando. In Orlando, right? That makes three. Yeah. Okay. So, but Shamu's not. Shamu was in San Diego, right? Shamu's at all of them. <laughs> but Shamu's dead, I believe. Mm. I, this is getting very depressing. There I are know. many Shamus. The original Shamu, though, is well. Original probably... Shamu is probably gone now, but there's always a Shamu. Someone's always a Shamu. Like, can you think of parts of your childhood where someone always steps in those boots to replace it? 
Sorry, I'm on the original Shamu. Of course. <laughs> so, of course. So apparently she was... Show gets Shamu better. Shamu was the fourth... This is Wikipedia. Oh, <laughs> trust it. Very, very reliable. Children, look So she it up. was the fourth orca ever captured, which is impressive. And then she was only the second female. She was caught in October 1965, dead August 1971. So, so she before for any of us years, were born. And then... I was not born. No, and I've seen a Shamu before. Something tells me it was not Shamu's ghost. <laughs> so did you see her prior to 1971? Also, listen, last the last time I was in a Sea World, they did all sorts of things that they would not think of doing now, like grabbing a random child from the audience and <laughs> just standing on the edge. Right. No, 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 no. Sit him on Shamu. End of the show. The whale comes out, and they're like, "Hey, come on, sit on this wild animal." He weighs like eight tons. That'd be great. Do you guys see Blackfish? No. Illuminating. You should watch it. It's pretty good. I'll add it to the list of things I have. Eight thousand things. Get guess what I started watching. As long as we're not talking about anything about media. <laughs> well, this is media. <laughs> this is the pre show. I started watching the Halloween films through again. Oh, pretty fun. Wow. And what are you up to? Two. <laughs> okay. You through two? I finished the second one, so okay. it's not like I okay. watched one Halloween okay. movie. I sat through the second one, which was not good. I don't remember the second one. Rougher. Oh, you I, would. Something... It'll come back to you like it's well, like, like nothing. It's ever in the asylum. I mean, he's still on the loose. It actually takes place following that night and is the commercial now i'm watching the commercial are they Please. back at the asylum is that where it's like it seems like the whole commercial is taking place there they're in like, the new canon they erased everything after the first one yes so they're starting over after halloween well there's the, they're standing in the big courtyard there's a big checkerboard courtyard they're standing there and she's yelling at michael i feel like that's the commercial every time I, the commercial I starts remember. and i'm always like what is this and then it's halloween I don't remember. I have not seen it. I'm trying to avoid the spoilers. I'm trying to be excited oh, well, when yes, I see it's it. Just a commercial. You're gonna go see it in the theater. I may. Nice. Would you like to come with me? I'm not a horror movie guy. I was gonna maybe go see Venom. You should watch Halloween. It is worth a view. Have you ever seen the first one? I don't think so. So the... you should. It's it's scary, but it is worth a view. It is the movie from which all other horror movies generate. That and uh, the birds. I was gonna say Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> I think. Birds is still more suspense for me. There's your people talk about it a lot. I did watch The Birds. I've seen that. Psycho, yes? Psycho, I've seen. Both of them. This week on mm, Hitchcock. Yeah. Um, there's four of them. The second one. Well, okay. so, so there's ten uh, Halloween uh, movies. Uh, is that correct? Is my counting this right? <coughs> Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Halloween mm-hmm. 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Five. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween 6. And you have Halloween, without a number, The Curse of Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. And then you had H2O. H2O. And then yes. you had Halloween Resurrection. And then, and then the two 1 Rob and zombies 2 movies. Zombies, yeah. yeah. And now we have... The what movie? The Zombies? Yeah, Rob, Rob Zombie. Zombie remade oh. Halloween and Halloween 2. And they're actually that's when he was pretty doing good. His, that's when he was doing his horror movie mm-hmm. motifs, right? They're actually very, very good. Um, I would say... I mean, Psycho was a disaster because it tried to remake it exactly as Did it was. Did Rob Zombie do that? No. Okay. No, but I, was the, like, I don't remember that. The Halloweens that Rob Zombie did were very good. In fact, I think I would say I like the second one better than the first. And they were both pretty dang good. The second Halloween remake better than the second Halloween original? I would say. Or no, second no, the Rob Zombie Halloween better than the, Rob Zombie Halloween. The first Correct. Rob okay. Zombie. Rob Zombie 2 beats Rob Zombie 1. Okay. Does Rob Zombie 2 beat Halloween 2? Yes. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Halloween 2 is a, a bit of a hard train wreck. Nice. Halloween 3, everyone like now is like, oh, I really like it. <laughs> Good idea. Spoiled by the 1980s. <laughs> oh, like so many things. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a panache of that spoiling in the 1980s, though. <laughs> this is going to be terrible with style. Sort of last Starfighter bad. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> oh, man. This will be great when it turns into a video game. So in sad news. What? Sorry, I'm going sad news. I know normally we talk movies, but we also do sometimes talk tech. Uh, a big story that Microsoft's co-founder Paul Allen just passed away. Um, on what day was that now? Yesterday, was I believe. Yesterday? I believe it was yesterday. Um. You know, I, I think people forget that uh, you know before Microsoft came along, there you know the idea of a computer in a home was kind of a very foreign concept, and then 
you know, their, their feeling of a desktop in every home it kind of became true. Um, at one point, I, Microsoft had, what, 95% market share or something like that. Um, so uh, obviously one of the pioneers. Um, and then, of course, sports fans know him as the owner of the Portland Trailblazers right? and, and the yeah, Seattle Seahawks. Uh, and, yeah. mm -hmm. and then um, I think he also won the soccer, whatever the Seattle soccer mm. team is. He's like a, co <laughs> like a small owner, Seattle Sounders football club. Um, FC. The FC, you're right. <laughs> On to happier news, first man tanks. No, so, uh, wait a minute, that's happy? No, so there's a big surprise. Uh, first man, of course, this past weekend um, debuted. Critics are totally in love with this movie. Well, that means bad box office, right? And the uh, audience reviews are mixed. Um, I think it's a huge surprise that um, Venom and Star is Born wasn't able to catapult past either one of them, and that it only made a million dollars more than Goosebumps too. Uh, it's rough. Yeah, that's that's a rough showing. Well, I think the Not as hardest rough as part bad times as El Royale. Oh, true. Oh yeah, it's a disaster. But interesting to me there is Smallfoot second week. <laughs> second week on Smallfoot, grazing towards ten million, and bad times at the El Royale is. Two spots below it. Is Smallfoot Smallfoot's not in its second week? Is it? I think Smallfoot's I been out it is, longer. Because it's minus thirty-seven percent. Oh no, that's yeah, three week three. Sorry, I week I'll three. It down so we can see third week <laughs> of well, Smallfoot. I was just doing ten million to fifty-two million. I didn't think it made wow. forty-two million in a week. Smallfoot has made sixty million dollars in three weeks. I think that is one of the signs of Armageddon right there. Wow. And the nuns still pulling in uh, 1.3 million on in week mm. six. Uh, you know, keep adding to that conjuring uh, to, <laughs> to make it more difficult for the nun well, too. Oh yeah, the nun two is coming to surpass. So, uh. um, are you all <laughs> surprised by Venom? I mean, we talked originally. We thought everybody's going to go see it week one. It's, um, it's almost 60 percent, but not it was quite. Wide. I said to you, it made like 10 million dollars or 12 million dollars on like a Monday, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like Labor Day. Mm -hmm. It, you know, it's a random Monday in October. It's a good it's, showing for the film. It's made a lot of money. Fifty million dollars. I mean, we're saying it's going to make. It will probably make two hundred well, million. And I was taught the reviews are terrible. <laughs> the, the, critical said, or box or. I thought the word of mouth was terrible, and I thought the critical. Well, critical. It was going to be slammed critically. I mean, yeah. You know, Avengers. At least they try to make it seem like you know a movie, movie, and some critics are like it's a lot of fun, but Venom. Doesn't strike me as like you know, um, 140 million. Venom, <clears throat> Venom currently has a 31 percent tomato. Ooh, that's uh, that's pretty low. But <laughs> audience score is 88 percent. Obviously, that's why it's. Um, <laughs> I don't know who they're asking about that. But I said something. Free popcorn I said for something a movie about review. Go, <laughs> if it's positive, <laughs> it's ter I said this movie's getting terrible reviews and it's making tons of money. He goes, it's like Suicide Squad all over again. Oh. And then I went and looked at how much money Suicide Squad made. Two fifty? Three hundred and twenty five million oh in domestic. It made like four hundred million it made seven hundred million dollars total. That movie is painful. I mean, that movie is painful. It has some redeeming qualities, but it's million on the whole really dollars. bad. What's scary is uh, the nun, which of course is making tons of money, twenty six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. They don't say that in the commercial. Oh, and 26. Goosebumps two is only at thirty nine percent. Well Goosebumps, uh, I mean yeah. <laughs> two. How can you rip on the like little kid? Movie? Done. As a critic, how can you come out how and just like, I was, trash? I was reading movie? that they deliberately kept Jack Black out of the advertisements for a long time, so people wouldn't get confused between Goosebumps and House with a Wall in the Clocks or Clocks on the Wall <laughs> or whatever, because they didn't like they said they didn't want to confuse audiences, so they deliberately kept him out of promos. I thought he wasn't in. I thought he didn't come back to Goosebumps too. Did I he? thought he was it. I read oh, an article. I mean, he's that they all signed, right? He, was in. The, uh, he is. I don't know. <laughs> I we both love to bash us with the answer. I have not seen it. Please tell us the Goosebumps too. I have not seen it. I can, I can look it up. More boring looking up What's... stuff on the internet show. Oh, Hello. Oh, it's a message. And then, and then Ooh, Night School, which comes in number six, um, has 28% on, on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, so. Night School, that, that I can see getting terrible reviews. But 26 is not that far away from some of the other movies that are that bad. Let's see. <laughs> looking dun, dun, up dun, stuff dun. on the internet show. This is... <laughs> Sorry, Wi-Fi is awesome down here. So, so why don't we look up Jack Black's appearance? Go. And because he is a big I feel like we could just click on Goosebumps too, right box there on the office screen. Draw. Well, when I originally looked, he wasn't listed, and that's why I was. Um, Didn't list anybody. 
Why no bother? actors are in the movie. <laughs> Why bother? Um, My Wi-Fi is messed up right now. But I'm still getting messages, apparently. So, you know, not all that bad. Let me flip over to the other. When I wrote, is here. Jack Black? It immediately came up. In Goosebumps 2 as the... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Inquiring Minds. And oh, he is in it, apparently. He is in it, see? I thought I read it on Box Office Mojo. I thought I read it on an article. But they kept it secret. So that's... <laughs> Does that mean he like shows up in the last three minutes or something? It's like, a, a, it's like the, it's the Jack Black in Goosebumps 2 is like the Avengers 4 title. You gotta keep it very tight. Can't talk about it. Just cryptic tweets. That's a fantastic segue that you You're, did yes. because that was going to be the next story. Yes. And I have to ask. So... Have to. The it's Russo like brothers, of course, obvious. doing uh, Avengers 4. So they had to wrap, and uh, both Robin and Kelsey asked that we would discuss this at, at length. At length. For this show. So um, Very, feel free. Win. To win, do ladies. So. so we can speculate about something uh, that nobody has any idea about at all. So the Russo brothers write, Can't hashtag wrapped, and it's a big blue light. I read an article that if we were taking the light, you know, like trying to take the light out of it, and yeah, like change the settings and stuff. I'm like, we're really spending too much time on this. Kmart appears as a central figure. So Thanos turns that is back also, time that and is makes also Kmart wrapped. successful. When Avengers three came out, the talk was well, we're not going to release the Avengers four title until Avengers three is out because there's some there's a spoiler in the title. Yes, the movie has now been out for. <laughs> What's it been? Six Avengers months? Avengers 4. Everyone is not really dead. We don't yet have a trailer. <laughs> well, yeah. And that's the question is, I mean, is there a title that could possibly at this point... Avengers 4. Some of them really are going to die. <laughs> Avengers 4. We're bringing Spider-Man back. Aww. So... Sorry. Sorry, spoiler. Or did they just figure out... I mean, either... Marketing's either going to be loving this or hating this. They're either, hey, we can't release anything because you guys won't let us sell the title. Or they're just saying, this is great. We're getting all this publicity over... For nothing. A light photo. Yeah. Or... How much that cost? <laughs> or Chris Evans, Zero. you know... Did Someone a tweet. had to buy the light. Pay for it the might have already been there. True. They, they might have actually used light it. somewhere. Do you think it's movie-related? Kmart's still open? Just, uh, yeah. Some are. Okay. Not is our Kmart here in... I think it's done. Sears is now officially filed for bankruptcy, by the way, this week. Even though they, chapter 11, not they, chapter 7. They were, yeah, they're done. Chapter 11 is one you can keep coming back from over and over again. It's like a Halloween that means movie. We're, like taking a racer to some of our debt. We're like, hmm, 100, make it 12. 12 is the same. I think, I think somebody would. <laughs> and we come back. Yay. I think I, I think I heard it was $11 billion in debt and only $7 billion in assets for Sears. Mm. Good job, That's, Sears. Well, you just, they probably put some other debt back. over to Sears and then filed for, you know, let's move this Kmart debt over here. Oh, mm -hmm. Sears, sorry. <laughs> They're out. But no, Yay, our Kmart, our Kmart, I believe, is officially closed. I don't know. I think it said two days left on Saturday when I was there. Hmm. They did not have a lot of stuff on Saturday. <laughs> Slim pickings. <laughs> what do they have? Saturday. Like um, fancy feast and gum. No, no, fancy feast gone long ago. Something that something that people <laughs> would actually fancy feast. Something that people would actually use was long gone <laughs> at a discounted price. It was just like all the stuff that everyone kept going. Who's gonna buy this? It was still there. <laughs> and a lot of shelving. You could buy a lot of shelving if you wanted. Olin Mills memorabilia. <laughs> yes, there was a lot of. Um, they had this one. They had one board game. One, they had like 45 yeah. copies of one board game. Nice. It's nice. It's good. Oh, you got to remember what that is. Now I'm curious. It, it was not like, it was not a board game I never heard of. It okay. wasn't like Monopoly or like Sorry <laughs> or anything. It wasn't anything you would actually really want. And it wasn't a movie tie-in no. game or anything? No. Like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. So the blue light will just remain a mystery. Of course, Chris Evans tweeted, you know, was saying goodbye to the Captain America uniform. People were freaking out. Does that mean, you know... Is he dead? Is he not ever going to be in another movie? I thought Maybe it was pretty well established. Uniform. And then he kind of came back and said, yeah, I'm, I, there's, there's nothing here. I'm just, you know. <laughs> except, except it is. I thought he was except gone. I thought, I thought, well, I my day is done <laughs> now, so I'm saying I goodbye to my uniform because the studio owns it. Bye, uniform. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Russo That's brothers it. took it. They wouldn't let me cap Sons it. So speaking of goodbye... We're not ready to go yet on the show. Oh. Don't worry. We still, we still got a few more minutes. When is Disney going to give up 
on the live action when they stop making okay. money. <laughs> so uh, the Aladdin trailer has debuted. The teaser trailer. Um, it's not coming out till May, of course. Uh, of course, there's no genie in the trailer at all. <gasps> keep the Will Smith appearance, you know, secret because we don't want to know what he's going to look like or what you know, he's going to I didn't even know Will like. Smith was the genie. Where have you been? So, so <laughs> are you excited for an Aladdin remake? I have not seen Jungle Book or Beauty and the Beast. What was the other one they did? Jungle Book was excellent. Beauty and the Beast was very good. Did not see either. What was the other one? Jungle Book 2 is coming out, or whatever it's called. Isn't there another Jungle Book coming? I don't know. Right? It's, it's called something. What's the kid's name? Mowgli. I think that's the name of the movie. Mowgli. I think that's the name. I can guarantee it will not be based off the Jungle Book 2 film. No? Because that one was a train wreck. Um, Peach Dragon? I like Peach Dragon. It wasn't really a remake. So the remakes, oh, what they yeah. list is the remakes. Well, they list four remakes. Okay. 101 Dalmatians. The way back when. Way yeah. back then. And oh, then yeah, they, that one. I saw uh, that. No good. Peach Dragon, the, the newer one, uh, Jungle Book, and Beauty and the Beast. And then the definitive list of <laughs> upcoming. Editor, uh, director's cut. Includes Mulan in March 2020. Um, Aladdin, of course, is coming up next year. And... Uh, Lion King also next year oh, in July. Yeah, I heard about that too. Little Mermaid. What? Been announced, but not sure yeah. when. Dumbo is also next year. Is that right? I, I saw a Dumbo yeah. preview. I saw a Dumbo preview. I saw that too. Yeah. Okay. There was a teaser for Dumbo, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Then we got Snow White, Pinocchio, Sword in the Stone, Peter Pan. Everything that's good or <laughs> mediocre. The Rescuers. I like the, the Rescuers. The Rescuers down under. It's one of my favorite films of all time. When they just did Winnie the who, right? Christopher, Christopher Robin. Robin. Christopher Robin. With uh, Ewan, Ewan Gregor. Mm-hmm. They're talking about waiting the Tramp doing that. I, I, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So at what point? I'm sorry. We're uh, Then they'll start remaking the remakes. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. They'll be the direct-to-sequel or direct-to-video. I'm sorry. It's going to be direct-to-the-streaming service <sighs> uh, versions. That's the other thing, too. we got a Disney streaming service coming up. That's right. So Lady and the Tramp, the TV show. I would bet you they're going to be coming it's out and stuff be. like that. It's only going to be seven, you know, the six episodes, off reviewers. season one. Hey. So bad news. The Flash movie has been delayed again. They could just cancel that movie. <laughs> I don't even know what it's about. The TV show's doing well, right? So why? Yeah, but the TV show is actually good. So <laughs> the movies uh, are not. Why mess with it? Uh, <sighs> Sat and watched the original Man of Steel. Not the original Man of Steel. The Man of Steel first version of the new DC universe with my daughter. Which one? Who she was, was brought it? to tears. Henry. Yes, she was like. Nice. She was like. I said, are, "Are you crying?" And she goes, "It's really sad." I said, "It's okay, sweetheart. It's you know, it's that there's some sad parts of movies." The, I liked the Man of Steel movie. I thought it was like, I thought it was pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean, as movies as as mm-hmm. the DC movies go, that was yes. probably one of the better ones. Yeah, she was like, "Let's watch Batman versus Superman." I said, <laughs> "Oh no." Why don't you remember how much you liked Superman <laughs> and just not watch anything else? Uh-huh. Just stop. <laughs> So, Flash was originally supposed to start shooting in March and be out in 2020, and oh, now geez. it's not going to shoot until late next year and not come out until 2021 if it continues at all. I mm, heartbreak. <laughs> I think they're waiting on that Wonder Woman movie. <clears throat> How does this new Wonder Woman I just movie don't, do? We don't need a movie for all these people. We don't need a Flash Oh, yeah, movie. they do. Wonder Woman, they need a Oh, Wonder Woman's fine. Yeah. Wonder Woman was a good movie. Yeah. Wonder Woman 1980 or something, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, 84. Yeah. Wonder Woman was a good movie. Oh, very. You have seen it now. I have seen Wonder okay. Woman. I watched it on something. Before we canceled our movie channels, I watched it. Mm. Good news. Oh, my. Speaking of movies we need. Boy, so oh, Tom boy. And Jay, the, the best keep part digging. Is, the best part of this. Oh, hold on. we got to get rid of the ad. The best part is. Uh, oh, nope. I just killed it. Nope. Mm-hmm. Damn, Thank you. Sporting. Oh, I killed it. Um, <laughs> so. You gotta love it the when the headline is Tom and Jerry goes after Fantastic Four director Tim Story. Yes. Remember how great Fantastic Four was? We need him. <laughs> Which Fantastic Four movie did he direct? You pick. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I think the one None was, of them I think the one was really, really None of them are calling up to anyone. No one's like, Have you seen the Fantastic Four movie? It was so <laughs> mediocre. That's the that's the peak there. 
forgettable. <laughs> Tom yes. and Jerry's should be untouchable. I don't understand. Touch- now, is it live action? Now. I believe that, you know that's a blend we of don't know. live action and CGI. Right there in the article. Oh. I read the I'm article sorry. you put up for one second. <laughs> the one that you prepped A blend us for, of live action and CGI, sent out, yes. you know, through the... Because well, I did want to move on to, there is another uh-huh. another uh, big film coming out that, of course, would lend itself to uh, a, a movie, because we've never had a movie on Scooby-Doo. Ah, oh, wait, wait we had a few. Yes. Wait. There were two, and then they did a preview. So Chris Columbus is going to be executive producing... Uh, <laughs> The new Scooby Doo. He's not directing it, so don't get excited. <laughs> I wasn't excited for any of this. <laughs> so, which will be more successful, Tom and Jerry Scooby Doo remakes? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Like Tom you? and Jerry has gone by the wayside. Like S- trying to bring back. I'm trying to think of something else that's gone too far. Smurfs. Again, the Smurfs movie came. There was a Smurfs movie. Like, there were like three like Smurfs, Smurfs movies. movies. Trolls. The Trolls movie Ooh, was very yeah. popular. Ooh. Live action trolls. Yeah. Live action trolls. Oh my gosh. One last story. Sherlock we missed completely knows. in August. I don't know how I missed this. The Rock is going to play his dream role uh, in uh, Robert Zemeckis' film. Uh, it's Kamea Kamea, who is the, the first king of Hawaii. Hmm. Um, the script is by Randall Wallace, who, of course, scripted uh, Braveheart. So it's going to be an interesting combination. Of things, and he's King Kame- the Kame- rock Kame- is very excited to, to have that happen. Uh, to throw out, I saw sh- uh, skyscraper, terrible. <laughs> terrible. Wait a minute, you're saying the rock is not that movie was Kame- terrible, terrible, terrible. Have Better you or worse it? than Suicide Squad. Oh, it's close, it's close. We're out of time. <laughs> Bad news for you, though, this weekend. Halloween comes out. So not that bad news. You have nine movies you got to get through. You're not going to see it this weekend. Friday. No, there's crazy people on the first weekend. They see it closer to Halloween. You don't want to see Halloween on opening nights no. with people. Okay. Too crazy. People are too crazy. We'll have to see then if Halloween is able to, I assume it's going to knock off. I heard the tracking was like 60 million right now. 50 to 60. Venom, Star is Born, and then First Man, who knows where it will end up. Dead. Way down low. Dead. But we'll have to check in next week on Inside Media Weekly. Thanks for joining us. Oh.